Hello everybody, if you're watching this on replay, please follow me and turn on your notifications. I'm going to be doing history updates from around the world over the next few weeks. It's going to be fun. So check this out. Hello everybody. I'm at Buckingham Palace, the official residence of the Queen of the United Kingdom, Queen Elizabeth II. As of very recently, the longest serving queen or king in British history. She won't break the record of all royalty set by Louis XIV, or European royalty set by Louis XIV, because he cheated. He was like a baby when he took over and he was very old when he died. But she left to live another few years to do that. But anyway, she's Queen of Canada too. You're absolutely right, Tyler. I could not forget that as a half Canadian. She's Queen of various states around the world. Thanks for, you, uh, thanks for sharing, Utopia. So how you doing? I'm just on my little bicycle again. Check it out. I'll go for a little ride here. I know you enjoy it when I go for a ride. That strange thing there is my microphone, not my chest hair. Thanks for sharing, everybody. There you go. That's the Buckingham Palace. Now across from it is uh, the Victoria Monument. That is a uh, monument raised to Queen Victoria, who's was the first royal family member that this was an official residence. So they put a bit, thanks for sharing Jenna Hart, thanks for sharing PJ Cole, 3029. Hey in Seattle, how you doing? There's Victoria Monument. Up there, Green Park. Down there, Whitehall, Westminster. Paula Snow, sorry, not Paula Snow, it's my cousins on the Millen side, my mum's side, so the Snows are not Canadian, I'm sorry about that. We might be related anyway, who knows? But that, let's check this place out. So it's about 700, just under 800 rooms in there. It's mostly offices and that kind of stuff. State rooms, probably a few state rooms, obviously banqueting rooms and throne rooms and stuff, but mostly offices, quite a few bedrooms. It's her official residence when she's in London. She's not in today by the looks of things because there is no flag on the flagpole, but there's lots of scaffolding. So they're obviously fixing the flags also. She might actually be there. There's some police checking everything out. Uh, it was originally, have I been in? I once went in. Thank you everybody for sharing. Thank you. Make sure you all follow History Hit. History Hit is my uh, history platform online and all these films go up there and you can access all the kind of films from the past and lots of other interesting information at History Hit. Um, now that's the famous balcony everybody. That's the one that King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, his wife, came out on on V Day when the crowd here were going mad. That's the one that Charles and Diana kissed on. It's the one that William and Kate kissed on. It's one that planes fly over. That is the balcony. Uh, it is open to the public, yeah. I don't speak Turkish. No, no, no. The original art changed different by the time. That's absolutely right. The original house was called Buckingham House. Who's the next podcast? The next podcast is actually quite a nice little podcast. I'm filming it today with... Uh, Rob Schaefer, my German uh, military historian friend, we're going to do a little podcast on tanks. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. So um, this was Buckingham House. It was the Duke of Buckingham had a private house here, much, much smaller. It was bought by George III for his wife, I think it was. Bought by George III for his wife, and it became the Queen's house. Uh, and then I, uh, and then it became... Uh, various people fixed it up. George IV, his big fat son, filled it up with incredibly valuable priceless objects from the French Revolution. Uh, and then George, uh, William IV fixed it up as well, but then Victoria was the first person to live it. So she was, so really it's only been around for a very, only a very short amount of time this has been around. It has not been a royal palace for long in the great scheme of things. The British royal family traditionally lived elsewhere, only Victoria onwards, 150 years or so. Uh, well, yeah, nearly 200 years now, I guess. Not bad. Check out this. Check out the guards. They're all doing something here. It's exciting. Let's go and have a look at them. Cannon Farm, thank you for posting. There's a little golf buggy. I don't know what that's doing. Should we go right up close? If you want to take a screen grab, let's go right up close. There's a good screen grab. Should we watch them march off? Let's do it. There they go. Do not even think about trying to break into this palace. They will get you. I do not know when they switch to grey 
great coats, but they're in their summer gear at the moment. And then that's the uh, the famous balcony out there. Zoom in. The quality goes down so much when I zoom in, guys. I can't zoom in. This palace was actually hit during the Blitz uh, 76 years ago this year. It was hit by the Blitz. The Queen's Chapel was destroyed. And the Queen at the time was the current Queen's mother. She said, I'm glad we've been bombed. I can look the East End in the face. Because while the East End was having their houses destroyed, uh, the relatively few bombs fell on this part of London. So the, the Queen Mother said she was actually glad it had been bombed. Thank you for sharing, Pablo Nomar. So let's check this out. That's um, St. James's Park there. That's Whitehall, Westminster over there. There's the Victoria Monument looking pretty bright now in this lovely bit of sun. Anyway. I was home of the brutal British Empire, not English Empire. Very brutal British Empire. This was its Royal HQ. There you go. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I've got to get biking. I'm off. Bye bye.